Greetings, students. Mr. Little here. And today we're going to have a look at this image-based SAQ. And we're going to look at the questions that go with it as an attempt to practice short answer questions. So what we've got here is a picture. And when you have a picture, even more so than when you have a document, it's really important to look at the source material. So according to the source material, this is a portrait of uh, J.B. Belly, I believe. I hope that's being pronounced correctly. Deputy for San Domingo, 17... 97 by the French artist. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Uh, and then there's some more information here. Uh, Jean Baptiste Belli, uh, 1746 to 1805, was a native of Senegal, so in Africa, and a former slave who, during the French Revolution, became a member of the National Convention in Paris representing San Domingo. Here he is depicted next to a bust of Guillaume Thomas Frankel Reynal, who is an advocate of abolishing slavery. Okay, so this painting of J.B. Belly, I'm going to say Jean Baptiste. I feel like that's an easier way to just pronounce it, so I won't be butchering the last name. So this this painting of John Baptiste is interesting. So this individual who's representing, uh, he's a deputy representing the French colony of San Domingo in the national convention during the french revolutions this is really interesting so we have this interesting intersection of you know san domingo the colony that is haiti where haiti's going to have its revolution but here's a former slave who's in who's in france and is representing haiti in the national assembly or san domingo as a colony of france in the national assembly so this is really interesting and they've painted him this french artist has painted him next to a bust of an enlightenment thinker who is all about as uh, abolishing slavery um, that's quite interesting. So what are our questions here? Uh, identify the influence of the Enlightenment ideas present in the picture. Explain one underlying cause of the Haitian Revolution. Explain the influence of other ideas besides the Enlightenment present in the Haitian Revolution. Okay, you know, we're going to take a look at that. But before we do, it's important to remember when talking about short answer questions, you want to ace the SAQ. You want to answer the question, provide a direct response. And then you want to cite some evidence to support that direct response. And then you want to explain how that evidence, in fact, answers the question. So answer, cite, explain, remember, ace, and you'll ace the SAQ. So as for these questions, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go ahead and pause the video and maybe uh, brainstorm or sketch out some thoughts you might have about uh, particularly what the answers might be to these questions. Keeping in mind that there's always more than one possible answer. And there's more than one way to answer an SAQ. So pause the video, maybe brainstorm some of your thoughts, and then come on back. So my ideas that I just was thinking about when thinking about these questions, right? So what Enlightenment ideas do we see here? Um, well, abolitionism is technically something that did come out of the Enlightenment, although it wasn't really popular and was not advocated by the main or the majority of Enlightenment thinkers. So I, that may not be the strongest answer here. Limited government, the fact that uh, Jean-Baptiste is in the National Convention, which is an example of limited government at play, the fact that he's literally a representative there. Um, perhaps it's political equality, because here we have the National Convention, and you have someone who is of African descent serving alongside uh, individuals of European descent in a national assembly, so there's some political equality. The Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen made no distinction based on race. So political equality, maybe. I don't know. I think all three of these could be excellent answers. So what is an underlying cause of the Haitian Revolution? Well, there are a bunch of different things. It is known that the French Revolution had an impact on the Haitian Revolution, at least to a certain degree. The French Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen was known around the island, and uh, free free blacks and, and poor whites and, and, the, and the rich whites, the Grand Blancs, did discuss the Enlightenment ideas uh, with their slaves. And the chaos of the French Revolution really threw the island uh, into, into uh, a tiff and a, and a sort of a mess of sorts. You had this social tension in San Domingo where you had every group wanting something else. The free blacks wanted equal rights to the whites. The rich whites wanted independence. The poor whites wanted more representative government so that they could potentially lower the cost of affording slaves. It was a, a big social tension, and there was even some small skirmishes that occurred before the outbreak of the revolution itself between these two groups that weakened the social order on the island and paved the way for the eventual revolution revolt. So, But that said, something that has nothing to do with the Enlightenment ideas. You know, what's something that led to the Haitian Revolution that has nothing to do with the Enlightenment? Well, as I said, there's the chaos of the French Revolution. 
uh, sort of disrupting the social order on the island. But there's also African traditions, right? It's worth remembering that the major slave revolt that kicks off the Haitian Revolution began with a voodoo ceremony in the mountains uh, in, in the eastern part of the island. And there's also the long, long history of slave revolts all across the Caribbean that no doubt inspired and contributed to the slave revolt that began the Haitian Revolution. All of these are possible answers. Now, what I'd like you to do again is go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and ace this SAQ. Go ahead and answer, cite, and explain, and then resume the video and you can take a look at what I wrote. Okay, so let's have a look at what I wrote. And again, I want to really emphasize this is just one way to answer the SAQ. There's multiple possible interpretations of each of these questions. So if you don't have exactly the same thing I've written here, that's not a problem. You could still totally have aced the SAQ, but let's have a look. This is what I wrote. So um, enlightenment ideas present in this painting would be the idea of limited government as Jean-Baptiste is literally serving in a national assembly that has a limit on the power of the king. So limited government visible in this painting. One underlying cause of the Haitian Revolution was the social tension on San Domingo. The free blacks and the poor whites engaged in open conflict after news of the French Revolution reached the island. This conflict destabilized the island and made it impossible to respond to the slave revolt of 1791 that would kick off the Haitian Revolution. And see what other ideas were present that inspired the Haitian Revolution besides Enlightenment ideas. The influence of African ideas and traditions played into the Haitian Revolution. The slave revolt that began the revolution in 1791 began with a voodoo ceremony in the mountains. Voodoo is rooted in West African traditions, and it came to Haiti and developed in Haiti via the 200 years of the slave trade, which transported the culture of West Africa via slaves. So this is how I chose to respond to this SAQ. Again, you could have chosen a, a totally different way. I would encourage you to, to go back and maybe practice writing other possible SAQ answers. It's never too bad to practice. Regardless, I hope this helped a little bit. I want to thank you for joining me. My name is Mr. Little, and I'll see you next time. Hey there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was able to help you. If you appreciate this kind of work, please like and subscribe. And of course, I welcome any kind of feedback or suggestions, so feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Mr. Little, and I'll see you next time.